Okay, so now I've taken the armor off of one side of the Gundam to show the inner frame and compare it with the armored side of the Gundam. The arms are able to go 180 with just the inner frame, and they can almost go 180 with the armor on. It's it's pretty darn close. Um, not exact, but it's pretty close. Uh, the arms can, on either side, rotate 360. And the shoulder is just kind of loosely set um, on the bar there between the body and the arm itself, but it works pretty well. The head can rotate 360 and can go side to side, up and down. The cockpit hatch opens up as well, so you can see a little pilot Shiro Amada sitting in there. And next to the Vulcans, uh, this little piece can flip up. I assume it's just to show part of the you know, mechanical look of the kit and everything, but it doesn't actually do anything. Um, the side skirts can move up and down a very little bit and rotate. Uh, the front skirts both move independently and can go quite a ways up. The torso can only rotate so far side to side simply because of how high up all the skirt armor is. Now the leg, when it's uh, just the inner frame piece, can go forwards about that far. If you move the front skirt armor up, it can go even further. And can go back only so far simply because the back skirt armor does not move at all. Um, similarly, with the armor on, you can move that far forward and you can't really move all that much backward. Now, the leg um, has a locking mechanism at about the kneecap, or slightly a, a, above it actually, that allows for a much more stiff pose when you want him standing, and a loose pose so that you can get him on his uh, kneeling pose when he's uh, firing his big cannon or sniper rifle. This is kind of nice um, because if it's too loose, it it doesn't like to stand up all that well, but obviously you can have it all stiff if you want to post nicely. So the uh, unarmored leg at the moment is the one I have locked, and you can see it'll only bend about that far. But when you have it unlocked, it'll go about that far. It's not quite a 180 simply because of the shape of the leg, but it gets a lot more bend to it. Um, either kneecap does have a little bit of motion, although I assume it's just to get that slight bend that it's supposed to have, uh, just for the build of the model kit and everything. Uh, the foot uh, moves back and forth and side to side, and I don't know if you can see there the piston sort of mechanism in the foot that moves. Um, the foot guard can just move up and down a little bit, and the feet themselves don't actually move. Uh, it, there's no joint in the middle there like some of the newer Master Grades, which is fine because you're really not going to need it for this kit anyways. It might have been nice for the kneeling, but not terribly necessary. As far as the backpack goes, both these pieces flip up and this piece flips down, and this is just to load the actual like carrying case that he has, but they both kind of make a little click noise when they slide. And that allows for the backpack to just slide right in there, and I'll get to that in the uh, accessories portion. As far as the legs go, though, they do have um, a little area on the side where you can store the beam sabers, or rather the handles to the beam sabers, and they just will slide right in there.